Hello, I am Mr. Walker. I'm cool with any title you are comfortable with. Uh, Mr. Walker, Coach Joe, Dr. Walker, all work for me. All right, so we're going to talk about like if you've influenced the change. I know you've only been here for like three years now, but what's what's the biggest? What do you think is the biggest change you've influenced this year? Like this this year, the Big Brother program, I guess. Uh, I can't say that I myself have influenced change. Um, I think I'm a part of a lot of strong people that are working together, collaborating to influence change. Um, the Big Brother program, like you just mentioned, um, is something that is different in our school. Um, it's different in the sense that um, it's fostering the brotherhood at the school, um, but that idea, the implementation of the idea, I cannot take so credit for it. Um, so many people were involved in that idea coming to fruition, that idea going from paper to reality, and then the actual day of it. So, how long were you guys working on that for? Um, that we were talking about it all summer. Um, administrators met to talk about it, and then uh, before school started, um, myself and the different um, different powers that be, we met to continue the progress of it. Um, it was a uh, it was a lengthy endeavor, right? Um, but I feel as if it was worth it. What do you feel like has changed? Your graduate. What do you feel like has changed since you left and then came back again to be a counselor now? <clears throat> oh wow. Um, when I was here, um, it was not always easy to walk around the hallways as a minority in the school. Um, I, sometimes I felt as if I was being judged or I wasn't accepted for who I was. Um, now, um, back in the, these hallways as a counselor, um, I'm seeing that people are more accepting um, to people with different differences, um, and people are not as judgmental as they used to be. Um, people of all races, all kinds, are um, prospering and utilizing the resources that we have here. So. Um, I think now um, everyone feels as if um, they can be successful here right. and really grow at St. Joe. Do you think you're influenced anything outside of school, sports-wise, or like I know you took on a few roles, like I know coaching lacrosse, soccer. How do you feel like you've influenced people outside of school here? Um, I'm always trying to give back to our school community. Um, I feel as if um, when I was here. I witnessed and I was a part of so many people inside and outside of school influencing me or nudging me into the right direction. So me personally, I, I can't, I don't know, man. I just hope that I am, I am nudging people in the right way. I am giving them the right information that helps them reach their full potential and right. be the best they can be. So um, outside of school, my club teams, um, the teams I coach with school, I'm all about um, empowering and helping that person realize their full potential. So um, if that's inspiring in a way, I guess that's how I'm doing it. But right. um, I'm trying to help others, help you guys, um, you know. Right. Do you think you're doing a good job of that? Or you, like I think you are, like, you've been a support for me. That. but. How do you feel? Like, look at yourself in that way. Um, I think I could always get better. Um, I, I'm a still I'm still green. Um, everyone is different, right. and if I was to say to you right now, I know how to communicate with everybody. That would be a lie. Um, so um, it really means a lot that you say that because um, again, this is why I do it. Um, so I hope that others feel the same way. And if they do, then to me, that's enough. Right. Um, that's enough. Well, thank you for time, and well, I guess that's it. No problem.